Okay, now that we've gotten those taken care of, let's talk about how the game ends because we're gonna be rushing towards the end over the next five rounds. So obviously this is a victory point game and whoever has the most victory points wins as normal, but the game ends in one of two ways. One, after the 10th card is played, then whoever has the most victory points wins after that last round or whenever someone reaches 10 victory points or higher, you finish out that round and then you total the victory points. And there are intrigue cards that could add post game victory points uh, and it can go higher than 12. It's just, this is a low scoring game. So we want to not only get the most victory points, but we want to kind of try to be the one to end the game as well. And so that's what we're working towards through all of this. Now let's look at our hand. We have fold space, scout, Convincing Argument, Diplomacy, and Dagger. Actually, that's a really good hand to start this vital round. Okay, we're going to start with the Beast, and he's going to take his turn. Let's see what he gets. We've reshuffled the deck, and he's going to fold space. He's going to gain influence with the Space Guild, and this is a big deal because he's going to move up into this gold area, and he receives this victory point. Now, remember, somebody can take it from him, but until they do, he is up to four victory points. That's all for that. It's our turn. And let's look at our top card as our special ability. We get the voice. Very important. I think my plan is going to play Diplomacy. And we're going to use it to go over here to the Freeman track. We are going to go to Hardy Warriors and pay... One water, we get, it is a cross swords area, so we're going to get two in there, and we're going to pull two more in. And we move up the track, and we're very close to getting this reward here, this alliance reward. So that's our turn. Let's look and see what the Earl's going to do. He pulls Carthag. So he's going to visit Carthag, and he gets one troop into the conflict let's get rid of our card put him there and he's going to pull his secondary troop in there as well so recruit one troop deploy up to two more from our garrison all right the beast is going to take his second turn and he's going to secrets so he's going to continue his way up the Benny Gesserit track he goes up one, and that's all he needs to do. Well, this is hard because the two spots I was looking at going to were Secrets and Carthag to get an Intrigue card for this battle. Instead, let's use our Dagger, and let's go to our Akeen. We will get one troop, and we can pull one more in. or We can actually pull two more in, but I'm just going to pull one more. That's all we're going to do with that. Okay, the Earl's going to get his second turn, and he wants to go to Fold Space. He can't. Still Suits is open, so he's going to go there and move up one on the Freeman track. So, gaining one fence, and deploy up to two more troops from Garrison to Conflict. Well, he has no more troops, so he can't do that. And now the Beast is going to go up here to Wealth. He's going to move up that track and gain one influence, and that gets him another victory point. So he is really speeding ahead right now. Really speeding ahead. We're going to play our Folded Space card, and this has every symbol on the board on it. So we're going to go up to the Mentat space right here. We're going to grab the Mentat. We can use it on this round, and we get to draw a card. And we got the voice, which we knew we were going to get. Now we can look at the top card of our deck. It's another dagger. And now we can do this. And again, you can do this in any order. So we're going to do this, trash this card. Let's put it back in the pile. And we get to draw a card uh, for trashing this. So we get two cards this round. So we're going to get that dagger. And that'll help us, especially since we threw away a dagger. And that's our turn. We need to pay two, though. 
Again, getting that big spice trade earlier has helped us a lot. The Earl has another draw, and he's looking at Carthag, but he's already got a presence. He's already got a presence there. He wants to harvest spice, so he will go to the one that has the most. That has four. That has three. And that has four. This is the most costly, or we get to choose. So he gets four spice. And he has none right now, so he has a total of four. Okay, the beast is skipping his turn. He's not even interested in this battle. It comes back to our turn, and we have the Mentat, so we can choose to go somewhere else. So it looks like I bought some time. It looks like we're good in this battle down here. In fact... I may use this during our vill phase to retreat some of my troops. But let's definitely use the voice. And I think we're going to go send our Mentat to this space and get four. There's three and the plus one plus the one from our bank is going to be a fiver to get five spice. That should come in handy soon. Okay, that's our turn. It goes back around and nobody can do anything. So it is the reveal phase for us. So let's start. We have three influence to work with. Um, space travel looks really good, actually. I mean, it's a little late to be starting up this, but I could use one more bump to get a point here. So let's do that. Let's pay the three. That goes in our discard pile. We're getting very low on our draw. We only have one card in our draw pile. Okay, so that one is gone. And then we have the swords for here. I think I am going to retreat up to two. Now he could draw. We just reshuffled before this round. So he could draw a big, a big card here up to six. So let's see what we're up to right now. We have six times two is 12. And he has four. So I think we can go back down to eight. Using this card, we'll withdraw two troops, save those for later. And we'll have two more swords. So that will put us at ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The best they could do is tie with us. And hopefully they won't do that. Let's see what they draw. Selective breeding. We're just looking at the bottom icons here. Two swords. So he has a total of six, we have a total of ten. So he does get one water and two Solari. He is up to four Solari now. And we get to move up one track. So, let's see, I replace this. So I think the best track to go is this one. Again, I just got a card that can get me up this one a little further. I don't think I'm going to race and beat that out. I think all I want to do is get to this point here. Maybe get this point or this point here. But I want to secure this. I don't want anybody to take it from me. And they can, they can jump up, up to twice and around. So let's do that. Let's go here. And I have this victory point, which puts me at three. And I have an alliance with the Freeman now. We discard all of our cards. We have one card left. We did combat. Now we're going to do the makers. And this one had somebody on it. And that one had somebody on it. So we're up to four there. And then the base value is there. Then we recall. So the Mintat goes there. And I really like that the Mintat space gives you something just besides an extra worker for the round. I really like that extra bonus. It's really awesome. So we reset all of these things and they get these back and this is going to move. We're gonna flip the new round card. Now, the new round card is the last of the number twos. So the, the uh, rewards are going to jump up big time after this. So first place gets a point and gets to put a flag down and second place gets two water. Now let's talk about a couple spaces that we may not have seen. So we've seen the cell melange. We've seen the secure contract where you can just get three Solari. Swordmaster you've seen. Hall of 
uh, oratory is one influence and one uh, soldier to your to your garrison. We've seen rally troops. We've seen the Mintat now. I don't think we've seen the High Council. Uh, I know we haven't seen the High Council. They don't ever go here, and we can go here. So when you go to the High Council, you pay five Solari, and you get to put your extra round token on one of the chamber seats, meaning you get a seat on the High Council. And this is going to give you two influence every round towards buying. So you just get a free influence. And other than that, I think we've seen everything else. Now, the only other thing is down here in Secrets in Solo, they, when they get, like the Beast has two, when he gets his third Intrigue card, he immediately trades those in for a point. Uh, down here, this is, you gain an Intrigue card, and you take an Intrigue card from someone who has four or more. And that's never going to happen in a Solo game. So, it's only that base, which is still a great spot to go to. And other than that, I think we've seen everything else. Like I said, this one's a special space. You have to have two influence or you don't get to go there. So in uh, the Freeman. And I think that takes care of it. So that should give you a very good idea of the whole game. And you could kind of see how you play it. And then the Intrigue cards, which we have not seen yet. We're going to try to work towards getting one of those. So let's start this round. We have one card, the Doing the Desert Planet in our hand. We shuffle these up. And we get four more. Let's see. We get our Death Commando. Our Scout. This looks like it might be a decent... That's three. Reconnaissance. A decent uh, combat round. And Doing the Desert Planet. Ooh. It's like all influence and attack. Ugh. Well, one victory point and planting a flag would not be a bad idea. Unfortunately, there are no icons for these influence tracks over here. So, that is very, very sad. My goal was to go with this five, go to Conspire, start up this track, get two soldiers to build up my garrison, five Solari, and an Intrigue card. I would have been happy with going up this track right here. I'd even be happy going up this track again here. I think we only need one move here to solidify that. I don't think anybody's going to beat us after that. So that's what we wanted to do. So what can we do? I think we need to go after this victory point right here. I don't think we have much of a choice. So, let's use um, Reconnaissance. Reconnaissance. Let's look at the top card of our deck. Dagger. That would be nice if we can figure out a way to get it. We'll use Reconnaissance and go to Carthag. Carthag's going to give us one troop. We can pull two more. So, we'll pull these two. And it's going to give us an entry card. Oh, yay. Our first entry card. And it is a plot card. Know their ways. So this one you can play and it'll allow you to move up the Freeman track. So it's not going to help us with combat. So let's go ahead and play it. There, we've solidified that, I think. Don't even have to worry about that anymore. Okay, so we have three troops committed to the battle. And that's not a bad start, considering they only have two. And Earl has none. So speaking of the Earl, let's go to his turn. Let's see, we did his combat card, and we draw his next card, and it is Arkeen. He's going to go over here. He's going to recruit one troop. So now he is in the battle. Oops, that's mine. Get a green one. So he is in the battle. And he is going to use a signet ability, which is gain one spice. So he is up to five out of his seven spice. Let's just trade all that in. It's easier for me to see from a distance. Bam. Okay, then we go to the beast turn. So we check these off. Boop, boop, boop. And we draw. And he wants to harvest spice, which he can do. He is going to get four spice. He doesn't have any. So four spice over here in his tray. Now it's our turn again. So we know what our card is here. 
and I wouldn't mind having that although we do have four that we could commit already let's go over here to uh, seek to bar and we get another troop in the battle um, see this is the one that allows us to retreat two troops I think I'm just gonna stick with four right this second I don't think I'm gonna pull another one in it gives us the second water so that is played now the Earl takes his second turn we did the harvest for the beast and he wants to go to the Hall of Oratory which means he gets a troop so if on his last turn Maybe I should have pulled that one in. If, uh, on his last turn, if he gets another troop in, he can pull this one in. So, not the strongest movement, but still potential. Let's draw for the beast. Hardy Warriors. So, he's coming over here. He moves up this track. He's taking his first step up the Freeman track. And he gets two into battle, which means he just matched us with four. Ah, I was afraid of that. I really want to come out of this in first. I'm kind of at a loss. I I really would like to go to the research station, but I would have to get rid of that. Now I definitely don't want to. Um, there's no way to get an intrigue card with what I have. Again, an intrigue card might have been helpful very he right here if we could have gone to Carthag. But we've already done that. And that entry card did not help us for this battle. So I think that we play Doing the Desert Planet. Um, I think I want to hang on to this spice. So let's just get three Solari. I could use the two to get three more spice. Oh, that may not be a bad idea, actually. Yeah, let's do that instead. Let's pay two water and get three more spice. And that may set us up for if we don't even win, if we don't win this one, maybe we'll win a future one. Okay, that's been played. It goes to the Earl. Let's see. Everything's been checked off, and we draw a card for the Earl, and he's going to go to Carthag. We're there. He wants to conspire. So this is not good he's moving up into this track he gains one influence he's going to get this so he moves up a point we're behind again and he's going to recruit two troops luckily it's to his garrison We draw a card for the beast, and they want to go to Still Suits. This is not good at all. Still Suits means he moves up one here and one here. And he could deploy two from his garrison, but he doesn't have any. Okay, but that is a pretty strong combat card that we just got rid of. And it's our turn, and we're just going to do our reveal. We have two we can spend, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure there's anything I want to spend it on, to be honest. Unless it gets us on one of these tracks, I don't see it. This is five. This would be a nice one with the entry card, but yeah, nothing we can afford, and I don't want more money. All right, so. We all three are in the battle, so let's set our strength. We have eight strength, and so does the beast. And the Earl decided just to show up. We are going to get three more, nine, ten, eleven. And let's draw for the Earl first. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good job, Earl. One, two, three, four, five, six. Brings him up to eight and takes that card out of the deck. So for the beast, we get two. Yes, woohoo! So we come in first, Glossu comes in second, and the Earl doesn't get anything. So let's start with us. We are going to move up one point. Oops, that's not us. Let's start with us. <laughs> move up to four. We're going to use our flag here in a second. 
and we are going to move or give Glossu two water. So it's not a terrible thing for him because two water plus the one he has is one more point, moving him up to seven. And he hasn't told you this goes fast now. Once they get their third, their third agent, it really shoots up fast. Everything is gone from the middle. This is gone. And let's talk about this flag. So after I reset these, we have our flag that we can put out. And you can't just put it out anywhere. You have to put it where it says. So this is going to be secure Imperial Basin. The Imperial Basin is right here. We have secured it. We get to put our flag there. Now what this means is that anytime someone goes here, we get a spice. Even if we go here, we get an extra spice. And anytime the name Imperial Basin comes up on one of these cards from here on out, we get a free troop into the combat. So having a flag down is a really nice benefit, especially off one of the earlier cards. And the troop thing is easy to forget. And I might forget it. Hopefully I won't though. Okay, so that's the end of the round. Let's draw our five cards. One, two, three, four, five. We'll look at them in just a second. We need two do the makers so the one that we just got our flag on gets one that's nice and we need to recall workers and then we do round start and we have battle of carthog so again this does not match this but this is juicy two victory points and a flag on carthog Ooh, and we are low on troops but so is glossu really the Earl, but they can, they can get troops in pretty fast. Okay, we're going to move this first round marker to the Earl and look at our cards. We have the Bene Gesserit sister. This will allow us to move up that track. That's pretty good. Also, two swords if we need it. Convincing arguments. This is one I would like to get out of my deck right now. The voice. So we can play this early and choose a space to save it. Another convincing argument, and a dagger. Okay, so we have at least four to play with in here. Let's see what our top card is, our signet ring. That would be a good card to have in our hand right now. I wouldn't mind this Freeman camp right here. Maybe we'll get that for next turn. This is juicy, though. Well, let's see what the Earl's going to do first. So, we did the Harvest Spice, we did the battle part of the bottom of it, and he draws Arakeen. So he goes to Arakeen, and the Arakeen is where he gets to do his Signet ability. So he gains one troop into the battle, and he's going in with a stronger showing this turn. I guess he was just scouting the last battle, seeing what came up next. He does his Signet ability, which gets him one Spice... He is now up to six. So he is one away from getting another point. And I'm sure he will get it. Okay, so recruit a troop, deploy a troop, and activate signal ability. Let's see what the beast is going to do. He wants to go to Arakeen. He can't, which is good because his signal ability is uh, gain a troop. And if he had an alliance, which he does, he would have gained two troops. Not cool. So, let's see what we dodged. Selective breeding. He's going to selective breeding. Here, he moves up this Ben Jesseric tract. And that's all he needs to do. Now it's our turn. Okay, we're going to play the voice. We're going to choose a board space so an opponent can't go to it. We're going to choose here. So we're going to put our flag on it just to remind ourselves that we chose that and they can't send their agents there the next round. We're going to use a purple space and go to Carthag. Carthag's going to get us a troop and we'll go ahead and pull our second troop in. And it's going to give us an intrigue card. So I'm hoping for the best here. Oh, water of life. We can trade in one water and one spice to draw three cards. That is excellent, actually. That is very excellent. 
So this goes away, that's our turn. We draw for the Earl, and he wants to harvest spice. Well, guess what? There's one spot he can go to. And welcome, my friend. Welcome, because that gives us a spice. Bam, love it. And he gets two, I don't love that as much, because that means he would have eight, so he's gonna have one left over, and he gets a point. Now we're lagging behind everybody. Oh man, let's see how Glossu responds. Uh, we harvested, so, oh, he wants to harvest spice too. Well, there's no spaces that have an accumulation, so he's gonna skip that one. And he wants to rally troops, of course you do. Of course you do, I was actually thinking about doing that next. So he's going to rally four troops into his garrison. So he's building up his forces. I think what I'd like to do is get some more water. But the only place to get water is with the Freeman or Siege Tar. But I do not have another purple icon. Hmm. So maybe we pay two and go to the Mintat. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to buy some time. We're going to pay two. That way we can draw our dagger, which, or I mean our signet ring, which has a purple on it. And we get the Mintat. And that can buy us some time to see what our enemies are going to do. I like it. Ural has another worker and he wants to conspire. Again, he is dedicated to this track. He's moving up and he's gonna gain two troops to his garrison. Luckily that was just to his garrison. Then Glossu the Beast is going to rally more troops. He can't. So the Hall of Oratory is where he's going to go and he's going to get one troop again in his garrison. Let's give the right color not onto the battlefield. He does not want two victory points. He could come very close to ending this game. So he recruited one troop. It's our turn. So we're going to play a signet ring. Let's look at the top card of our deck. This would help us. Oh, the fold space card. And we do have two more turns. So how to play this. I, do would, li I would like to get another troop in here. So I could go to Siege to Bar, get a water and a troop. So let's play the Signet Ring. Yeah, let's do it. Let's play the Signet Ring. We'll send the Mintat to Siege to Bar. And we gain a troop for the battle, which equals us up. And we gain a water. That's great. Now we can play this Water of Life card. And we can draw three cards. It costs us the water and it costs us one spice. And we draw three cards, which are the last three of the four of our deck. So we have Diplomacy, Arrakis Liaison, and Space Travel. Okay, and we can look at the top card of our deck, which is another dagger. That would be nice too. Okay, I think I have my plan for the next turn. It goes to Earl's turn. He has no more lackeys, and neither does Glossu. So no agents, no turn. It comes to us. And we're going to play Fold Space. So we are going over here. We get a Fold Space card in our discard pile, which will give us some of the symbols we're lacking. And it moves us up to get another point, keeping us in the game. I don't think we used his Signet Ring ability, did we? We did not. But it doesn't matter. Draw a card for the Space Travel. These go in the play deck. So we have our dagger. We have the Rackus Liaison. Diplomacy. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. So we didn't get another Intrigue card. We tied here, but we have a lot to go into battle with. I actually don't think I've had this much to go into battle with before. So that's our turn. That's our turn, so let's reveal. So we're gonna reveal one, two, and this one is either two influence or two 
swords, we're going to play two swords. I really just want to secure that'll put us back in, in the game big time. And besides, we've got two, four, six, seven influence to play with. So, seven influence. What do we want to do? I really like the idea of Peter, sword, and three. So, that's going to go in our discard. And so, that is how much? Five. We have two left. I don't think I'm going to do anything with the two. So, this all goes back. They were out, so we're going to just go ahead and shuffle this after after we do this. Sorry. So we have Glossu is not in it. We have six, and the Earl has six as well. We have played four more. One, two, three, four. We're at ten, and they're going to reshuffle and draw. And this is going to, I'm holding my breath. Oh, so dramatic. Oh, he drew a blank. He drew a blank. Woohoo! Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, that feels so good. So we we just pulled up to seven points. Uh, he is going to get three, which gives him four out of his seven here. He's got a water. And he's going to get an intrigue card. And we don't look at what it is, but that is his second of three entry cards. So really, he's very close to, he's got four Solari, one water. He, I mean, he could gain two water easily, uh, a number of spice easily, and yeah. He could, he could come back. So these are all gone, and I am very weak going into future battles. But we get to put another flag out. And we get to put it on Carthag, which is nice because I believe there are two cards in their deck that takes them to Carthag. Let's shuffle our deck. I'll go ahead and draw five and not look at them yet. One, two, three, four, five. And we need to, the makers need to make. So, right there and there, we recall our workers. Okay, we're looking at the board situation. We have... Glossu and me at seven, and we have the Earl at five. So it's really close. We're going to flip the with three rounds left. Flip our first, our second, third conflict card. Okay, so this is a intrigue card and move up the space twice. Oh, we could actually maybe overtake here. That would be nice. It would take a point from him. Hmm. Because we do have that fold space. We have two ways to get here in our deck. Okay, well, let's see what the gods have granted us. And we have Dagger, Dune the Desert Planet, Signet Ring. Okay, Convincing Argument, Dune the Desert Planet. A very poor opening hand. Let's look at our top card, Reconnaissance. Nothing good. Nothing good. Okay. This needs to move down to Glossu, and he gets to go first. So let's see what's in store for him. Harvest Spice. So he wants to go to the one where there's the most. There's going to be four there. That brings him to eight. Whoops. So he'll have one left over, and he gets a point. Pulling out ahead again. Ugh. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, I'm really keen on trying to take this from him. Ah, but I can't do it this turn. And I'm low on Solari. So I think the first thing we do is we bide some time and we go here. Actually, oh yeah. Let's go here and get three Solari. That's not enough for what I want to do. Okay, let's scratch that. Let's go with our Signet Ring. Uh, we will go to Carthag instead. That does get us a Solari. And it gets us a troop into the battle. And it gets us an entry card. Let's see what we get. Oh, Guild Authorization. Fantastic. So we get to move up on the Spacing Guild. Again, we are in striking distance. If we get here, we also get three Solari, too. Oh, 
Now it just makes me even more frustrated that I don't have either of the cards that will get me up that track. Okay, Signet Ring. We do get to draw a card. We know it's Reconnaissance, and we get to look at the top card. Mmm, that would be nice. That would be nice if we can get that. Okay, it is the Earl's turn. They harvested, so let's... Hall of Oratory, gain one troop. Let's get him a troop. Let's go here. Easy done. And the Beast is going to rally four troops. Oh. He has a very intimidating army in his garrison. Okay. What should we do? We have another purple. We have yellow. And I don't want to use the dagger for the green. So purple and yellow. Now these, these actually areas have names. I just can't remember what they are. There's the Choam here. This is actually Dune down here. We're going to go to Arakeen. We're going to go to Arakeen. I don't know why I didn't see that before. We're going to use the Reconnaissance to go to Arakeen. And we're going to get another troop into the battle. Right now, we're the only ones representing. Shouldn't say that too loud. They might hear me. And we get to draw a card. So guess what card we get? Peter! Fantastic. Okay. Earl's going to take his turn, and he's going to go to Steel Suits. So he's decided to start up this track. He gets another point. He wants to catch up. Okay, so that was the Earl's turn. We gained on influence, moved up the track. Now we have to deploy troops, and we deploy two troops from here to the conflict. Okay, the beast is going to go, and he wants to go to Arakeen. He cannot, so we'll draw another card. Harvest Spice. Yes, he can do that. He gets three Spice. So he has a total of four. Now it comes back around to us, and we are even here, so I think the best course of action is to figure out a way. Let's look at the top of our next card, Diplomacy. Ooh, if we got the Mintat, that would be good. Hmm, the Mintat wouldn't give us any more troops, and right now we're only sitting on two swords. I definitely want to play this for the Intrigue card, though. So I think the best thing we're going to get to do this time, if we want to compete here, that he still has one more agent. This is only going to get us one more troop. But I think there's a chance we've got to take, because we'll get an Intrigue and a 3 off of this. Yeah, okay. So let's go here. We're going to get a troop into the conflict. And we are going to get an entry card. Ooh, what can it be? Corner the market. If you have at least two, the spice must flow. Then you get one. If you have more, the spice must flow than each other opponent. Then you gain another one. And I believe we're always determined to have more than our opponents. So, that's a tough one to get. The Spice Must Flow is one of these three cards up here that are always there. It's nine. Nine. Ah, not a good card for us. So, we got that. We need a water. And goes back to the Earl. Let's see. He harvested. And he wants to go to Highliner. So, he wants to start on this track. However... This is really not good. He gets one influence, recruits three, and puts them in the battle. Oh. And deploys two more out of his garrison. So he did not like the force we were building. Whew. That is painful. I think it's safe to say we're not. We went, we went for this combat and it did not pan out. That is one, that is the six card though. The six sword card right there. So that is out of the thing. I guess that's a bonus, that's a plus, that's something. I don't know. Okay, the beast has no more 
we have no more. So we are going to reveal, and we reveal four. Four influence. So we could spend two to get three troops. That's a pretty good card. I would like the Gunthopter, but... But... Each opponent loses one garrison troop. Oh, that's a tough one. I think I think we're gonna do this. I think I think three of these is worth more than them losing one. So that goes in our discard, which is gonna be there. Place that card. Uh, don't know how to say that. Sardukar Sardukar Infantry. That's a good card too for one. Oh. Wait, how much did I have? I had four exactly? Yeah. The one time I need one left over. We have our dagger. So our strength is seven. Theirs is 14 plus whatever they draw here, which is two. So 16. I think they won. Okay, so that's discarded. And we claim our rewards. So they're going to move two up the track they're the least on. Which would be this one or this one. And we can choose. Um, I think one, two here. That gives the Earl of Victory point. These are all gone and we are left completely without troops. But so are they. That's scary though. Okay, that was combat. So I get an intrigue card. And look at the top card of your deck, draw or trash it. I'm sorry, you are not seeing the best cards for us right now. There are great military cards in there. And oh, that's just frustrating. And we get three spice. So we'll switch this out for a five. Maker's going to make, they only make here, which is good, because that entices if they pull a one of these harvest cards, it's going to be there, and it'll get me a spice. Return these guys. Okay, let's start the round. We have, next to last round, we have Battle for Arakeen. So again, it's neither one of those. Two victory points and a flag. Or... You choose two, either a entry card, a spice, or three solari. You choose two of those three. Oh, that wouldn't be bad to go after. So I've got to come up with a plan. Plan to shoot ahead three points. And they could very well shoot ahead three points this turn. I mean, if we think about it, either one of those are going to get this. That's one point. If green moves up and gets this, that's two points. They're both at two intrigue cards, so that would be a third point. Hmm. So my available points are here. If I could steal this, that would be great. There's a point here. I'm not going to get it here. And then two points here. And even if they beat us to 10, if I can get a Spice Must Flow card, we might be in business. One, two, three, four, five. And I get to go first. So that's something. We got our Dagger, Arrakis Liaison, Convincing Argument, Fold Space, and Diplomacy. So I'm glad to see these two in our hand. And we have two here and a worthless dagger. Let's go ahead and play this. Look at the top card of your deck. Draw it or trash it. I, I said that's a worthless card. It's really not. Uh, we'll draw it. I don't, I don't want to trash it. That's at least two. And we could reserve a space if we need to. So I think the first thing I want to do is play our fold space. This will allow us to go anywhere on the board. And we are going to pay six of our spice 
and we are going to put an agent on highliner. This will move us up tied. Now we do not take that unless we pass him. So I'm really hoping he doesn't get a fold space in this round. But this is going to give us five troops and two water. So it was expensive, but we have plenty of spice. One, two, three, four, five, and it's five troops into the combat, not in our garrison. We also, in whatever order we wanted, we're going to do draw this draw card. Ooh, we got the Bene Jesuit sister. That too might come in handy. And we have to trash this card. Okay, I think that was a pretty good turn. We've got ourselves set up for these two points. And we need another three. We get us three water. I wish three water gave us a point. That'd be nice. But, you know, AI's got to cheat. All right, let's look at Earl. Earl, what are you going to do, my friend? He is going to draw Conspire. That would have been another one that I would have gone for. Uh, so, he's sending someone to Conspire. He gains one influence, so nobody's going to beat him on that track. He can recruit two troops, but they are two troops to his garrison. Fantastic. And that's a decently sized sword card right there. Okay, what are you going to do, Glossu? Arakeen. Going to Arakeen, and he's going to... This is not good. Recruit one troop. Then he pulls two in. And so he deployed two troops. Activate the rival's signet ability. Rival's signet ability is brutality. One, gain one troop or gain two troops if you have at least one alliance faction. Well, guess what? He does. So we are now tied in this conflict. Let's look at the top card of our deck. Ooh. I, I'm trying to think of what would be better. To gain more troops this round or draw cards. I think let's play our Diplomacy card and draw some cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take over this Fold Space. So Fold Space will go in our discard pile. We've seen that that's a very handy. I don't know if we'll get to play it again, but I'm more interested in blocking off these spots and taking this point from him. So that should be one up for us and one down for him. Look at us. We're in the lead. Woohoo! That feels good. That feels really good. Now, if we could just focus on these two, we might do a good job. But first, we've got to let the Earl go, and he's going to go to Still Suits, which means he's going to enter this conflict as well. He moves up one. He's green. He gets, uh, he just deploys troops. He doesn't get any more. So he's, he's sending a small force into this conflict. Then the beast is going, after we check that off, to go to wealth. This means he gets to move one up this track, and that's kind of pointless. I'll take it. Not, not that great of a play for him. Now for us, let's see. I can go here, get a troop and an entry card. That's much better than that. Or I can draw three cards. Did we look at the top card of our deck? Yeah, it was the... So I definitely want to draw a card, because that Death Commando... That Death Commando is worth one troop. And I have two water, so let's go there. Let's play. Let's see. Mmm... I think I'm going to end up not going for this, unfortunately. I think I'd rather race to the top. So let's play this to go here. And that's going to cost us two of our three water. And it gives us three cards. So we have our Death Commando. Oh, our Scout. And Space Travel. So that ends our deck. Interesting. Okay, unfortunately I can't play the Space Travel. 
Let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, to see if I need it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have potentially enough to get this if I don't need it here. Let's see what the Earl does. The Earl is going to try to get a fold space. He can't. I took that from him. Harvest Spice. Fantastic. It's going to go to this one because it has one. That's five out of a seven. We get a spice. There's our spice. Back up to six. And that's his turn. Let's see what the beast is going to do. Selective breeding. Okay. So he's going to this one. And he's just going to move up the Bene Gesserit track. And he is tied with me. So a lot's riding on this combat right here. And it doesn't always come down to this area right here. It's just this game it is, which is really interesting. Comes to us, we don't have any more workers, any more agents, so we are going to reveal, and here's where we're going to have to take a chance. So we've got two, three, this is just counting money up, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's a sword. And this one we have to choose. This could get me out of, this could be worth two points at the end, even if I'm not winning. That's two points right now. Okay, I, I have to use this for this. So I've got eight. Do I want to buy anything? Not really. Um, I don't really want to buy anything. It's too late in the game. It's not going to give us anything at the end. So let's move that over to here. And that over to here. I mean, it may be overkill, but I want to decimate them. All right, so everybody's passing now. And... Let's look at strength. So, the Earl has four. That means Glossu and I have 10 each. I'll go ahead and do mine, which is three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, which is probably a smart call because the highest he can get is six. So let's see what he gets. And he pulls a blank. Oh gosh, I could have could have done that. That's okay. It's not about how much I win, it's about winning. So these go away. Woo! Oh, and he he still would get an intrigue card, which would be a point for him. It's three intrigue cards. Uh, so let's go ahead and we get two points. Let's give him a point. And then they get nothing. The Earl did not show a good force. He gets two Spice or three Solari. He would choose the Spice, I'm sure, because he will get him closer to a point. But just shy. Just shy. Okay, that's combat. We would place markers, which would be here and here. And then we would do the recall phase. Wow. That, that was a really good game. Really tight game. Whoa, came down to, to the combat at the end, racing ahead. I think I made the better call of doing that. We would have had one more round, it looks like. But I couldn't guarantee that I would get a point. I would have to move two here or here to get a point. Uh, and let's see what the last conflict card would. We wouldn't know this, but the last conflict, conflict card would have been the same. So it's possible that I could have pulled ahead. I could have done some shenanigans, but overall, we won. Oh, it was the easiest difficulty, but we barely pulled it off. Let's go back up top. And that was Dune Imperium, and that was a fantastic game. Yes, it was on the easiest level with the easiest characters to play, but still, it was a pretty close game, and this game gives you a lot of stand-up and cheer moments, especially with that combat. This mix of Deck building and worker placement, I mean, it's just a its just a perfect combination for me. Um, Lost Ruins of Arnak, back there, uh, did it as well, and it's also a fantastic game. I just really like this combination, and I've played this 
both multiplayer and solo, and I like them both. You do lose a little bit of the player interaction, of course, uh, but some of the bluffing and some of the brinksmanship, but I don't think it takes away from the excitement and the unexpectedness. I really like the AI. Now, just to forewarn you, the AI cards that come in the deck, one of my, probably my only complaint about it was that it didn't churn the market. It didn't turn over anything in the market during play. But since then, they've updated the app, and we saw that, that they have a, a churn mechanism in that. And I've thought of different ways that you could add that. There are two player cards you're taking out to play the solo. I think you could put just two of those back in, but then you're looking for a little 2P on the corner of every card, and it'd be easy to miss. So other than making some cards, I think that's maybe the best way to do it. Hopefully in a in an expansion or something, they'll add those cards in. But we have the app. It's it's great. They can continue to add more dynamic things. I think that's fantastic. And it wasn't any quicker or slower to use the app. So anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you saw whether this might be a game for you. I, I'm hoping that we can come back in the future and play a little bit harder difficulty and maybe a more complex character. Uh, I'd like to try that out on camera and share that with you. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but if you enjoyed this content, uh, think about hitting that like, smashing that subscribe, and tapping that bell icon so that you're notified whenever the next video goes live. Man, we've got some exciting stuff coming up this year, and I don't think you want to miss it. But until next time, as always, thanks for watching, and happy gaming.